Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I just stopped in today to give you a little bit of celebrity tea. And the first ones up are Diddy and Cassie. Now there is a story circulating all over the internet today that these two had a breakup brawl. Now basically what the story is, is that um, I guess they were out and they were in their car and an argument, you know, began. Um, they said that Diddy grabbed Cassie's phone and I guess he began to scroll through the phone. Um, the reporter saying that she had threatened to break up with him and I guess he became suspicious and he started looking through her phone. Now the report goes on to say that Diddy jumped out the car and I guess walked away and Cassie pulled off in the car with the driver and goes back to the home that they share. Now when she got back to their home, apparently she called her mother and told her mother what occurred. And the report is saying that the mother called the police, not Cassie. Um, I guess the mother was worried, you know, maybe he would come home and he would be violent. Now, I guess in the meantime, Diddy did return to the home that they share. And right about that time, the police showed up. Now, the police did go in and talk to both of them, make sure everything was okay, like they do in, you know, if it's a domestic violence call. Now, the police didn't find anything wrong, but they did write up a report, you know, um, just stating the facts of why they came out to the house. Now, <clears throat> these two have been dating on and off since 2007. And they seem to just have their ups and downs. I think this story today is nothing more than a lover's quarrel that, you know, just went a little wrong. Um, I think when Cassie called her mother, maybe that escalated the situation a little bit. A lot of times when uh, couples are having an argument, sometimes it looks worse to the people that are on the outside than it actually is um, now I don't know if there's a history of anything or if you guys have heard any stories about Diddy being abusive I've never heard anything like that so again I think this was more of a lover's quarrel and I don't think it's anything more than that um, you know they have had some cheating rumors on Diddy's part but it seems like they go through these ups and downs and then they seem to be able to pull it back together so I'm thinking for them this is just more of the same and I don't believe that there's too much more to this st story other than that this next story up is about Miss Nene Leakes now yesterday I came in with a little story concerning Nene's finances Basically, the story that I read yesterday said that Nene owed over $820,000 in back taxes to the IRS. The story that I read yesterday said that the IRS is threatening to put a lien on her home unless she pays them that money. Now, today, Nene um, kind of responded to that threat from the IRS. Nene went on Instagram and she posted a picture of herself just smiling away and then she has a little message there that says running out the hotel to pay this bill y'all know I ain't got no jobs let me borrow twenty dollars and then she put hashtag unstoppable Nene hashtag oversight. Now I think Nene, like I said yesterday, is the type of woman that when it comes to her money and her finances, she is on it. Now, what I believe has happened is this. A lot of times when these people start to climb in their fame and their money starts to build, they move from handling their own finances to allowing someone else, say an accounting firm, to handle it. And 
I truly believe, even though I don't ride with Nene, you know, I used to like her in the first seasons, but towards those end seasons, Nene was starting to get on my nerves. I still like her. She just gets on my nerves now. But I believe that what has happened is Nene is starting to let other folks handle her finances while she concentrates on her career or building her career now I think that because Nini has found out that there is this back payment that she owes from this point on she's going to get that back payment made and from this point on I believe Nini is going to be paying a closer look or paying closer attention to her taxes and making sure she has all of her stuff together because again I don't believe that Nene is the type that you know would dodge her responsibilities she may be a lot of things but I think when it comes to her money you know she is the original rich bitch I believe that when it comes to her money she does not play and you know even though she's making a joke out of this saying that it was an oversight I believe this has probably shook Nene to her core and she's going to make sure from now on that everything that has Nene leaks on it is paid and she doesn't owe anything so Nene pay attention to your finances girl don't let these people get you all messed up and I think that's pretty much the end of the story with Nene okay everyone this last story is about Malia Obama now over the past few months we've heard a few little stories starting to leak out about you know some of the behavior that Malia Obama has been exhibiting you know a few months ago she was seen playing beer pong here recently she was at Lollapalooza and she you know lifted her little skirt and showed a little bit of her butt meat and you know she was twerking if you could call it that and then just recently you know there's a video of her allegedly smoking weed now today I go on the internet and there's another story about Malia being at a house party there in Martha's Vineyard where the first family is vacationing now what they said is that the party had gotten kind of loud and rowdy and they believe that these teenagers were drinking and that the police were called now the story goes on to say that the Secret Service uh, rushed Malia out of the house before the police actually got there now what I'll say is this Malia I get it I get it you are trying to spread your wings and I get that but you know what enough is enough because first of all you're you know more than anyone more than any of us who are looking at you and who are starting to say you know enough is enough you know that you are the daughter of the president of the United States and with that comes a certain level of responsibility now of course that responsibility can get a little heavy at times when you're a teenager just trying to be normal but what I will say for your parents Malia is this they are allowing you a lot of leeway they are allowing you to hang out with your friends they're allowing you to go to parties like normal everyday kids they're allowing you to experience the normal things in life that a teenager does but you also have to turn around and say because they're allowing me to be normal because they're giving me or at least trying to give me this regular upbringing as much as they can in the position that they are I have a responsibility to them and that responsibility is to go out have your fun have your fun but do it in a way that's respectful to the office that your father holds your father has given us seven years of scandal free administration 
there's not been any allegations of cheating between him and Michelle or anything like that and he's almost out the door and you're starting to show your ass now at first I was rolling with her you know just chuckling a little bit because she is a teenager and she is gonna make mistakes but you know this is starting to be one after another and as a parent and I'm a parent myself I've been through the teenage years with two children and at some point those kids have got to say okay my parents are trying to be fair with me but it is it also is important for me to be fair to them and to conduct myself the way that I was raised now again she is not doing anything more than what the average teenager can get into but the fact remains that her father is the president of the United States and with that she has a certain responsibility like I said and I just think that the things that she's doing she's starting to be a little reckless and it makes me wonder if that's the reason why they're giving her this year before she goes off to college as parents we know our children better than anyone else knows them and maybe Barack and Michelle don't feel that she's ready to be in a college atmosphere alone you know where she is you know just there living that college life they probably understand that she has been cooped up in that White House and they were trying to give her a year of living outside of the White House just being an average 19 year old girl but she's starting off the wrong way and you know a lot of folks have said that these people that she's friends with may not be her good friends because you know they are allowing video or taking video of her doing these things and probably selling them to the tabloids and I know that this has got to worry and hurt Michelle and Barack I know it has to because they seemed like they tried to raise responsible kids and I'm just amazed amazed that they keep allowing her to go out with friends and you know try to be normal and do normal things I think they're giving her uh, quite a bit of leeway now I know she's adult and there's you know they can't stop her legally from doing what she wants to do but they're trying and I just think that she should try too because you know just after having been caught smoking weed and now she's at a party it sounds like to me they talked to her and she probably promised that you know she was going to do her best to not get in trouble again and then here we go again less than a week later so I don't know Malia I don't know you might be the bad girl of the family and um, sometimes when you know you're in the public eye like that and especially you know who you are I mean you're the first african-american family that has ever lived in that White House you know with the dad being the president so you know you're representing from not for not only them you're representing for for all of us and I know that's a great responsibility on that young girl's shoulders but it is what it is and I only hope that you know she calms down because you know some of these friends that she has can lead her astray and she you know she doesn't want that I want her to make it to Harvard settle down into her life you know because let's face it those Bush twins were in the White House acting a fool too and um, getting drunk and doing all kinds of things and ditching the Secret Service and um, even with all that they seem to have turned out okay so I don't think she's gone 
you know, totally left. She's just again spreading her um, her wings, but I want her to calm down because this one <laughs> is representing us. The Bush twins, we sat back and you know, kind of chuckled, but this is this is one of us. So Malia, just calm it down, girl. Just calm it down.